Welcome to Herbert Bonds. When we mow, we use a Faro 21-inch commercial self-propelled mower. They're just like you'd use at home, except they're a commercial grade. Right. Some features about the mower. We have a handle up here, and then obviously uh, this handle is your blading gauge. When pushed to the right and pulled up is, is your blading gauge. When pulled all the way up is your self-propelled. You've got three speeds. Down here it, sh it should it'll say three, two, one, or N. N is for neutral. That would mean you push it yourself. Most people, when they start out, would start out on one or two. My veteran guys mostly mow on three. That just controls the speed. Uh, your height adjustments are on the side. We recommend all lawns be mowed at three inches unless otherwise noted. But they, they do go one and a dot, two and a dot, three and a dot, and so on. So you to mow at three inches, you would want all your levers to be on three. And you just simply pull them out towards you and move it down or move it up accordingly. This is your fuel line. You always want to make sure that this is in line with the, with the, with the line so you know your fuel's on. This is where you put the fuel. We use only 85 octane regular gasoline. This is where you start the mower. When you push it all the way forward, that is what you more likely do in the morning. That is your choke. Then you would pull it. Yeah, and you want, when you're pulling it, you don't want to pull real hard. And you also want to check your, the condition of your pull string. If there's any fray, you'd want to uh, uh, take that to the matters of a uh, member of management. You pull these, turn it down to the money. And obviously, uh, right below it is the rabbit. That is your highest uh, idle speed. That's where you want to keep your throttle up. Hey, Bob, if uh, they can't get it started, should they pull harder? No, you do not want to pull harder. Then you're, gonna, you're risking injury to yourself. It's very important. It's very important to keep this air filter clean on a daily basis. We have an air compressor here where you just take it and you blow the inside and then you blow on the outside too until you get all the debris off. Then you just and you make sure you when the, your air filter is off, then you keep this covered. Do not let any debris or particles get into there. You put this right back on. This switch is on and you're good to go. Next important thing would be the, your oil. We change our oil on these mowers about every two to three weeks. Uh, you wouldn't need to worry about it, but it is a good idea to check your oil level once a week. And to do that, you would simply unscrew to your left, pull it out, wipe your dipstick, and then you just have to sit it on there. You do not have to screw it back in. Pull it back out, and it will give you your oil level. If your oil is dirty or low, um, contact a member of management, and we will make sure that it gets filled to the proper level. These Toro mowers is just to let you know we don't um, we don't collect grass clippings. This one we uh, we've gone green and we mulch. And as you can see, there is no bag. And if you lift this plate up, you'll see a mulching plate in here. You, always, you do want to make sure that the mulching plate is in your unit as well. It can come out in, in instances where if you've got long grass, but we are a mulching company. And that concludes the mowing end of it. So that, that concludes um, a quick tutorial about the, the Toro 21 mowers that we use, currently is.